Peter DeGraff. I was hoping to check out new books for the weekend. I don't see him, but it looks like he left a note. Time traveling. I'm searching for a surprise to add to our collection. I'll be back before I've even left. Mr. DeGraff, school librarian? Time traveling? What does that mean? I don't know. It's a mystery. Mystery, you say? Sounds like you could use some help. Well, I'm a bit of an expert. Give me that. Time traveling, of course. That means he's delivering clocks to the classrooms. It's elementary, of course. The game is afoot. <laughs> He's not in here either. Maybe he's not delivering clocks after all. Yeah, maybe clocks don't have to do with time. Of course they do! Clocks tell time! Well, uh, P today, Dr. D told us to hurry up when we were running laps. Yeah, she told us we were running out of time? Right! She needs new stopwatches to time you guys. That's where we will find your watch delivering librarian. To the courts! <laughs> We were seconds too late. Wait, maybe it's not about running out of time. What do you mean? Maybe it's about keeping time. Of course! Time signatures and all that. Your librarian must be replacing the metronomes in the music room. Let's go! Clever man! He is staying one step ahead of us. We will get him next time. Well, maybe that's not what he meant by time. Oh, just this morning I heard Mr. Russell say it was time for a change in the library. Aha! He saves the best for last. Back to the library where we'll find your missing librarian. Some sort of trick or illusion? What is this contraption? It's my tortoise. What's a tortoise? My time and relative dimensions in space machine. Tortoise for short. It's how I travel through time, of course. Time travel? That's not possible. Actually, it's quite elementary, I assure you. Elementary? Hmm, that's usually my line. Who are you anyway? I'm the doctor. Mr. DeGraff, where did you and the doctor go? Well, we traveled back in time to the early 1900s to meet Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Isn't that amazing? Wow, yeah. cool. He's an old friend of mine who wrote a wonderful collection of books about a detective named Sherlock Holmes. He's become quite famous, so Mr. DeGraff here wanted to add his books into your library. Fascinating. Those sound like the works of a brilliant writer. Here, maybe you should read this first. <laughs> 